Can you read them? What's up, guys? Your boy Alex and Sam. 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 I don't it's know. my line. <laughs> Oops. No, today we're watching a fun one. It's Can Filipinos Speak Their Own Language? Tagalong Challenge by Asian Boss. This should be a fun one. We really enjoyed the last Asian Boss video we watched. And so, much so here we are again watching another one. It's going to be great. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. We watch fun videos, yeah. react to them. Whatever you guys like us to watch, we're here. We watch them. We react to them. It's a great time. Just let us know. What should we watch? Drop it below. Drop it below. In the comments. In the comments. Below. But I'm going to stop talking. Let's watch this and have a good mm -hmm. time. Should be fun. Yes. I um, really enjoyed the last Asian Boss video, so I think this one's going to be just as good, maybe better. Okay, if that's possible. Luckily, they always have um, subtitles. Thank you, Asian Boss. Yes. So let's watch this and see what we think. Hey, everybody, it's Marie from Asian Boss. We noticed from our previous Filipino video that a lot of you were very fascinated by the way Filipinos mix one of the Filipino languages, Tagalog, with other languages. So in today's video, we're going to ask Filipinos to explain why they speak the way they do and see if they can handle some fun challenges too. For more, <laughs> let's go to Asian Boss reporter Jerick in Manila. Ooh. So, sa tingin mo gaano kadami na ano porsyento ng mga Pilipino yung fluent talaga sa pag-English? Mm. Okay, what percentage do you guys, if you live in the Philippines, what is what do you think the real one is? We last video we watched with there was the Tagalog Taglish. That was the video we watched Taglish video. Um, and it was all over the place with like the percentage. And I feel like this might be the same way. Probably. So I'm curious, but if you're from the Philippines, what do you think? The real one is also in the comments down below. What is the percentage? Mm. More than two thirds, I think. Fluent. Sixty percent. Ng mga Filipinos. Siguro mga more than fifty percent, kasi halos lahat naman nakapag-aral and and na tutunan naman nila yung sa environment na. Di ba sa Philippines ang official language natin na English and Philippines. So sa sa yo personally, ano yung language na madalas mong gamitin sa pang-araw-araw? Pag nandito ako, syempre mostly Tagalog. Um I think preferred language ko talaga English. Pero yun, when talking with my local friends, uh oh. Taglish. Filipino and English. Bakit po Taglish? Kasi yun yung Filipino na kalakihan ko and yung English parang yun yung madalas na ginagamit dito sa Manila. Kita tas ko yung pagtatagal, pagpipilipino mo. So wag natin, wag, uh, yun na natin yung Tagalog kasi baha, di ba? Dapat Filipino dapat. Mm. Kung may tatanong ko sa yung question, <laughs> tas pangsagot. This is a fun challenge. I'm very curious to see how everyone does. I honestly. liked the last challenge and yeah. I wanted more of it so I'm excited. This should be a lot of fun to watch. Yes. So ano, hanggat kaya mo ng full Filipino. Kaya mo ba mag full Filipino ngayon? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, big question kami ya yeah, sa iyo ngayon. Ito yung question. Um, sa tingin mo ba, ay uh, illegal pa yung divorce dito sa Philippines? Di ba until now? Sa tingin mo ba malaki yung chance niyo na maipasa bilang batas? Pakisagot sa book sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Para sa akin, um hindi Para sa akin hindi siya maipapasa. Kasi karamihan ng mga tao ngayon lalo na sa ating kamera is talaga talagang ano sila par talagang Pilipinas ay parang Kristiyanong bansa di ba so parang mas pinapahalagahan natin yung ay pag sabaw so depende kung ano yung <laughs> depende actually sa kanya ah <laughs> di okay lang okay lang or uh, yun pang birthday <laughs> Wow, this oh it's crazy God. how much they really do to speak Taglish. Yeah. Um, also crazy that getting a divorce is illegal. Yeah, um, I don't Let's ever, talk about that for a second. I don't ever want to get divorced once I'm married, hopefully it's Sam. And, but you'd have, it's uh, nice to have the freedom too. But I, I wouldn't want a divorce. Yeah, I partially agree, partially don't agree, because I think you should have that choice well, as no well. One, okay, no one wants to get divorced, divorced. Yeah. but everyone should have the option to be able to walk away from a bad situation yeah, 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 if yeah. you are in a bad, bad situation. situation. But I can look, get it on Christian, unhappy. so I mean, in religious, I do understand that. I do. I get that. I get it. See, it's not religious. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. I'm just saying there are lots of things to consider. Hindi ako sigurado dahil sa tingin ko masyado pang... Uh-oh. Ay, hindi. Hindi. Sa unang 
ako na kasi ang simbahan. Siya sabi na either oh, yeah. <laughs> either na na um pinupush ko pa rin ng simbahan yung annulment kasi pag annulment wala kang record na kinasal ka. Pag divorce may record ka na kinasal. Uh, ka. Uh, so, so, or yun yung sabi kasi sabi ng professor ko ang Holy Spirit. Ang tagalog ng Holy Spirit. Pakiramdam <laughs> ko um divorce na ini-implementan ng ating gobyerno ay hindi ay, hindi ako okay. hindi ako so, hindi ako okay. para sa'yo gano'ng kahirap tong pag may Pilipino mo ngayon <laughs> ang hirap kasi ano yun eh, parang isipin mong word words na dapat yun yung sasabihin mo kailangan mo pa yung translate sa utak mo okay. so, so bilang Pilipino nahihirapan ka din mag Pilipino <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yung pure, yung buong Pilipino, pagsalita ng Pilipino. Maraming tao, di, di yung nag, nag, nag-direct yung Tagalog lang, eh, unless like, ano, Filipino major or, or something like that. So, sabihin mo yung tamang pagkataglis, may ganun ba? Like, ay, dito mag-English ako, ay, dito mag-Pilipino ako. Wala namang standard, I thought about that too. standard way. That's the question. Na. Pagsasabi ng, ito English dapat, ito Tagalog dapat. Feeling ko na siguro nasa difficulty ng vocabulary mo. Kunyari, ako, nagsalita ako ngayon Tagalog, di ba? Pero later, nagsalita ako like this, kasi ganyan, 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 mas comfortable. I think wala naman siyang sinusunod na rules or uh, combination na para um, masabing tanish talaga yung sinasabi mo. Basta you, you switch from English to Tagalog and then naiintindihan nung Ah, uh, kaya ka usap mo. I think that is good enough. So din mo ba okay. para lang in mainstream or para sa trend yung paggamit ng English dito sa Philippines. I think nagiging trend sa siya kasi first of all maganda yung education natin. And also because we are colonized by Americans, so I think like maganda yung magandang factor yun. kasi siguro influence din ng social media and siguro dahil sa millennial age tayo. Masyado tayong masyado tayong na-embrace yung ibang culture like Western culture. Siyempre sa mga napapanood din natin, sa television, sa mga newspapers. Pag sa school, di ba, usually sinasabi nila, dapat English speaking kapag elementary. Di ba, mayroon silang rule na dapat English lang, ganyan-ganyan. Wow. Pero kapag ka nasa bahay, Filipino magsalita ang mga magulang. So parang naguguluhan yung cognitive development natin. <laughs> kapag nag-English ka, parang mas mataas yung level mo kaysa sa uh, doon sa hindi naging English. Kasi if you would talk straight na Tagalog, parang hindi ganun ka uh, up to date or modern. Marami tayong uh, mga provinces and maraming uh, ethnic groups. Uh, siguro, uh, I think mga, mga more than a hundred uh, language and dialects ang meron dito sa Pilipinas. I feel like for some people they really have to. I mean, you saw him have to when you're using. I feel like it's almost hard using two languages because you have to sit, think about what the word is, and but you know what I mean. Like you can go back and forth. Like he, it seems like he was having the last guy was having a little struggling a little bit when you're trying to really think about what to say. I feel like that's where I would get confused. And I say I'm only speaking English, so for me, boom, boom, boom. But when I remember when I had to do German. And I would do both, or like try to like, I was like, shoot, how do I say that word? And it took me a while, then I could say it. Yeah, or like you think like it, your brain has to totally switch gears. I feel like it's just really, really hard and confusing. Uh, and I, uh, that's, that's nuts. See, for me, when I was taking like a foreign language class, it was almost like I was having to reach into like two different brains in order to grasp at thoughts. Yeah, so I can't even imagine just like grabbing from both of those sections Combining them exactly. at the same time. Making sure oh they actually gosh. flow nicely together as well. Yeah. And so it's not like jumbled words that don't make sense together. I get that. I know, and I'm not sure about what like sentence structure is like in Tagalog. But I know that English can be pretty unique in yes, the speech definitely. patterns that we use. To like incorporate English words into, I think is what's happening. Incorporating English words into like the sentence structure of Tagalog, it's very it's just so interesting. interesting. I'm trying to figure out by the I pattern they of their write speech. Out English for like essays and stuff, and they do all their homework where they're saying everything's in school. I know, but even the order in which we describe things, what we want to say, is so different in so many different languages. So it's interesting to me to try to figure out, like, you know, where yeah. everything is supposed to go and. Just fusing those two different concepts is so interesting to me. Yeah. 
We'll get back to this real quick. Get this done. We'll keep talking. Yeah, hindi na lang mag English. Nagara dretch yung mga Pilipino. Basta mag Pilipino. Um, siguro mawawala yung sense of nationalism natin, yung identity natin. Well, it's sad because we're losing our Filipino language. But at the same time, it's not at all bad. Kasi advantage yun sa atin eh. Kasi we can um, go around to different kinds, to different countries and then we can communicate with them. Yun yung pagkakaiba natin sa ibang lugar. Para sa akin, kung hindi tayo mamumulag sa ganong issue, dalating yung panahon na mawawala yung pagsasalita natin ng Filipino. Para sa akin, talagang kailangan natin pagyamanin din sa ating generasyon ngayon, yung pagsasalita ng Filipino. We hope you enjoyed watching this okay. video. And yeah. some... That, so that, I mean, that's pretty much how the last one ended as well. Um, but, I do see, I mean, it's like, I do speak English, that's my main language, so for me it's easy to say, you know, good language to learn. But I mean, it's like, I, we watch a lot of in, Indian content, um, excuse me, in India, like the second, I mean, very well used, you know, language is English. And I feel like that's just, English is a big language across just the world, I want to say, I think that's like the, one of the most used languages in the world. So. I do see the advantages of it. Say you're in a different country, like in Asia or somewhere else. It's like, well, what language would I use if I'm not using my home language? Probably be this. And it's like here being in America, like English is our first language. It's like, shoot, there's so many other countries I'd like to go to, but like, you know, I mean, like if I had to learn Tagalog or uh, like Hindi, I mean, there's just so many different Spanish. I mean, it would be like, shoot, German, French. So it's like, dang. Um, so we're kind of pretty lucky that we we got the one that we kind of generally other people into, like the one that's spreading. <laughs> yeah, but no, I I couldn't do the two language like do, mixing them both into one and because it's like when I was in my German class, yeah, you, gotta be I, you so could only smart to do you could that. Only, I, mean, <laughs> I know my teacher. If we wrote in German and English for like a thing, it, we'd get a bad grade. It had all been like one, you know, one or the other, or when we were speaking, we couldn't. It was always we had to do it one way. So, I mean, really, it's interesting um, to me that it's sad they do struggle, I'd say, really hard with just speaking uh, Tagalog. Because um, it's not like, you know, it's like, oh, slang, it's like Tagalog is completely different, like a different. Uh, well, and I can completely understand, like, not being able to speak English fluently. But, um, like, for your own native language, yeah, I feel like yeah, that is a bit be, sad. Yeah, it, it would bum me out, man. Because that's your, your culture, your history. That's what your family, you know, has been speaking for mm -hmm. however many generations. So I don't want to, you know, just like everyone's saying here, you don't want to see that completely away. go away. Yeah. I mean, how sad. But no, so. let us know in the comments what did you guys think of the video. Let us also know what other videos you like us to react to and watch because we will gladly give them a watch. Absolutely. Let us know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Bye, you Bye. guys.